They did it. Ableton did it. I said it in my last video. I said it. I said, if they put out a standalone, an all-in-one Ableton push, that's going to be the one. You could do so much stuff with this guy in Ableton while you're running Ableton, but it is not a standalone unit. They did it. I can't believe they did it. That's amazing. I'm excited about this. Big fan of Ableton, as you know, on this channel. That's what we're talking about today. We're talking about the Ableton push three. So if you're not a big Ableton fan, skip this one and we'll see you next week if you are an ableton fan let's get the conversation rolling because the ableton push 3 is out i sold my push 2 because i knew it was coming i knew it was coming and it's here and we're gonna pull the trigger but anyway let's get into it So this is the Ableton Push 3. It is configurable in a standalone unit, but also configurable in an audio interface slash expressive MIDI controller, meaning you can use it with a laptop just like the Ableton Push 2. This guy is a little bit more compact. It has MPE enabled pad, so it gives you the note sensitivity, pitch bending, sliding, all the stuff that you would get out of something like a Roly C board or using the mod wheel and the pitch bend on a piano MIDI controller. In some of these videos they have online, you can see them using this guy as a standalone to record vocals and instruments and use a lot of the built-in Ableton effects. The layout is very similar to what it used to be. They've added some, you know, quick navigation buttons. They still have the encoders. You still have 64 pads, eight channels. You still have the navigational buttons. I feel like the screen brightness is a little bright on this guy and that's that's a plus um, so here's the two configurations and like I was saying there's a standalone unit and then there is the push unit which is just the interface but the amazing thing that Ableton is doing right now is allowing you to have an upgrade kit and I'll show you that in a second but the standalone unit here on the left comes with 11th gen core i3 and 8 gigs of RAM 2.5 hours of battery life has a 256 gig solid-state hard drive it's saying that you can replace your processor battery and hard drive as technology improves which that is amazing the fact that they're allowing people to upgrade their hardware so if you go to this kit that they allow you to buy after the fact so you can buy the interface slash MIDI controller version and then get the upgrade kit later on which allows you to install a processor RAM and hard drive guys going for a thousand dollars thousand and fifty dollars comes with the tools that allow you to do it to allow you to do the upgrade but very similar to the old Macs how you used to be able to buy an old Mac and then buy a third party RAM and a hard drive with this interface it's allowing you to go ahead and do that and I'm interested to see what companies are going to come out with like their versions of kits for these Ableton pushes so yeah that was one of the things that I talked about in one of my previous Ableton videos I was talking about the Ableton push too one thing I did want to see was a standalone Ableton push unit. Now we've got that. So I'm super excited for that. Pretty big on standalone units. I feel like they should integrate pretty easily with the software and I'm excited to get my hands on one. So, and lastly, to answer the question that everybody's been waiting for, is the Ableton push three worth $2,000, $1,999 plus nobody, tax. If you look at all of the standalone units and their capabilities, something like the Akai Force or something like the Machine Plus, being able to record into them, being able to control them with other MIDI controllers, being able to, you know, multi-track, do virtual instruments, do plugins, so do things like compression, EQ, reverb, all built in with a hard drive and a processor and RAM.
Ram, I believe it is worth it. I believe that it is worth the $2,000 because you are going into a machine that is going to act like a computer. You know, another expensive piece of gear, but I believe it's worth it. And it's upgradable. You can upgrade the RAM, you can upgrade the storage, you can upgrade the processor later on. It's it's on par. Some of the MPE functionality, uh, a lot of those controllers like the Roly C, a lot of the new expression controllers, they're very expensive. So I think that the Ableton Push 3 is on par as far as pricing goes with a lot of the new controllers that are coming out. Do I want to spend two grand on another piece of gear? Not really. You know, it's a bit of sticker shock, but it's worth it in the long run, I feel like. And like I said, it's on par with a lot of the other instruments out there. So, and if you're looking for something that integrates perfectly with Ableton, this is your best bet. The Ableton Push 3 was specifically made to work with Ableton and like Ableton. So no more buying an Akai Force or an MPC and complaining about why it doesn't sync to Ableton Live. This is your one-stop shop. So my answer to that is yes. Yes, it is worth the $2,000. How do you feel about it? Let me know in the comments below. We'll keep the conversation rolling. Also, shout out to my sponsor, Crate Connect. If you haven't got a chance, use Music Gear Mondays and get $5 off every month, not just one month, but every month subscription to Crate Connect. Check it out. They have a lot of good music, a lot of great selections, easy way to hop in there navigate and search the music you want that's gonna be it for today's music gear monday i'm carl carell see you guys here next week peace